This video is for my family, specifically my little brother. <coughs> Which I hope he does see this. And it is for my niece. <coughs> with what has taken place with me. Every single bit of it since the beginning, including about my mother has all been 100% true. I am a revenge retaliation identity theft victim. And as being done to me through the cops, through Billy Waldridge, through Blair Hardy, through Tyler Lake, through Dale Hartwick, and through others who are using what is called remote neuro monitoring on me, what is, which is police and military tech, it's a nano microchip implant designed for the central nervous system and also for invasive illegal surveillance. I am now pretty much OPP surveillance through these pieces of shit who are using this for them on me. And that is how I'm going through my identity theft. That is how I am being seriously brain injured and body mutilated. This is how I'm going through my deforming lies against me about being suicidal self-harmer congratulations you pieces of shit and that was said it is a lie and it was said to prevent me help and to prevent me proof and to be taken serious about what has taken place with me good way to cover your crimes opp and Sh and stacy and you did it through tatiana v stacy's girlfriend the name and file falsifier medical blacklist or the one that started this after my cat scan that she gave away in November of 2019 to her girlfriend Stacy, the original copy, who then gave a copy to Spencer Mills, and I will not be proven wrong on this. The lies, cover-ups, time-buying, arrest refusals, false arrest, kidnapping, sex assaults, my complete deforming, Blair Hardy, Billy Woldridge, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, Dale Hartwick now doing this on the pretense of pretense of getting out of charges dropped. Complete and total fucking deforming. Especially Tyler Lake and Jason Gimpy Two Step Van Alstein and Blair Hardy, who is an obsessed homosexual drug trafficker. He is a rapist. He is the boyfriend of Spencer Mills. He is an obs he's seriously psychotic. He is guilty of multiple drug lacing and murders or to commit murder to make it look like it was just another drug addict buying bad drugs and overdosing. Meanwhile, it was done with intent. Isn't that right, Blair Hardy? He, uh, he has a meth lab in Tweed, Ontario, allegedly with OPP, his boyfriend Spencer Mills, who is now allegedly in Aurelia. I've been bought. I'm getting nothing but burning on that spot on the back of my head. And my full right side of my head is completely numb. I feel absolutely no feeling or stimulation at all. And knowing I can't go to a hospital or do anything about this. So you're getting away with this. You're laughing about it. And I fucking well know it. Congratulations even to the hospital who has been criminally and negligently involved in this. This is how OPP get away with their crimes too and cover it up. Use it inmate junkie pieces of shit and harbored fucking wanted inmates and low life junkie garbage to commit crimes for them to make it look like, you know, whatever causing cancers, causing fucking suicides, murder, stalking, false arrest, framings. And a whole lot more. The OPP you think you know right here in Napanee, Lennox, and Ennington, Ontario, Canada. Be safe, everybody. My mother was also stalked and killed, too, for revenge retaliation. No criminal record or history with me in any way, shape, or form until I was charged by the hospital and an OPP co-conspired, and I will not be proven wrong. That was done in an attempt to give me a criminal record. And so they could get their prints, pictures, and signatures, everything they needed for this, and I will not be proven wrong. 
that was because of me wanting doctors and everybody else arrested for three years. So, from the CEO to administration, patient relations, even using Paladin security guards to doctors and triage nurses involved. Criminally and negligently covering their asses, covering up their bosses for this. And OPPs at the same time. And OPP covering everybody's at the same time. Arrest, refusals, lies, cover-ups. Time's been bought. Damage has been done. And I've proven the deforming and everything else to my fucking skull. And I'm not taking a fall for any of these pieces of shit regardless. I'm 50 years old and this is being done to me by a 60, 65 year old piece of shit named Blair Hardy. A 73 year old fucking stock and low life goof. Pedophile Billy Waldridge or the one known as Billy Waldridge of 149 Center Street North. A punk and two children, actually, Tyler Lake and Jason Van Alstyne, who are probably 30, 20, between 25 and 35 years old, maybe 40. So, no matter what I do, I go through this deforming on a daily basis, sometimes more, and there's not a fucking thing I can do about it. Chris is dead. Chris is dead. And it could all be medically proven. Luckily, I can't get no MRIs. Luckily, I can't get no nothing. I go to the hospital, Dr. Fardell. Luckily, she's psychic. All she has to do is tell a person to take off their hat, put it back on. It fits. You're fine. They know internally what's going on with a person. But then again, you know, when you want to cover up crimes... Because you're fucking guilty of them and going on lies and bullshit to help aid in covering them up on victims. This is why OPP know that they can are so successful here in Napanee. Time's been bought, damage has been done, my skull deforming and my brain injuring. My body's been fucked. You murdered my mother to do this to me, Spencer Mills, OPP, Billy Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Lake and Van Alstein. One way or another, whether I'm alive or dead, you will still answer and pay for this, you garbage.